Hi, this is Algebra 1, Lesson 91. We're going to talk about the mul multiplicative, multiplicative property of inequality and about spheres. We're starting on page 378. In most cases, the rules for solving inequalities are the same for equations and inequalities. So, if we're using addition or subtraction, the same number could be added to both sides of an equation or an inequality without changing the solution set. We're talking about multiplication or division. Any positive number can be multiplied or multiplied to or divided from both sides of an inequality without changing the solution set. But if you're multiplying by if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number, that reverses the inequality sign. We've done this before, this is not a surprise. But here we have 8 is greater than 4. If we multiply both of these times a negative number, like negative 2, now we have negative 16 and negative 10. And now we have an untrue statement. Negative 16 is not bigger than negative 10. So this is not true. Because we multiply times a negative, we have to flip the sign. So let's try an example. Graph the solution of negative x is greater than or equal to 2 when the domain is all real numbers. To start with, we're going to solve for x. So negative x is greater than or equal to 2 if we divide both sides by negative 1, or we can multiply both sides by negative 1. It works the same way. We'll have x, but because we used negative 1, we need to flip the sign. So x is less than or equal to negative 2. And now we can graph this. x can be um, equal to negative 2. So we can put a closed circle here, and it's less than or equal to negative 2, so it's going to go that way. Okay? That wasn't too hard. Let's try another one. Graph the solution. 4 equals, I mean, 4 minus x is greater than or equal to 6. So we can start by subtracting 4 from both sides. And remember, when we're doing addition or subtraction, it doesn't change the sign. So negative x is still less than or equal to 2. Okay, now we have pretty much the same problem we had before. We're going to divide by negative 1 and get rid of the negative on this side. And then we're going to reverse the inequality. So now x is greater than or equal to negative 2. The domain is the integers. Remember this fancy z uh, stands for integers. So x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. So we can put a closed circle here and a closed circle on all of the integers with an arrow here showing that the pattern continues. We wouldn't want a straight line because it's only the integers. It's not the numbers in between, all of the real numbers in between. Okay? Okay, let's try some more. Graph the solution of negative 3x plus 4 is less than or equal to 13. And the domain is the real numbers. Okay, so we're going to start by solving for x. Subtract 4 from both sides. That does not change the um, direction of the inequality. Negative 3x is less than or equal to 9. Now we're going to divide by negative 3, which is going to change the direction of the inequality. So x is greater than or equal to negative 3. The domain is all real numbers. So I'm going to put a closed circle here. A line that goes that way and an arrow that says it continues along that pattern. Okay, now we're going to talk about spheres. Spheres, of course, are balls. A sphere is perfectly round. It's a perfectly round three-dimensional shape. 
All points on the surface of the sphere are the same distance from the center of the sphere. And this, the distance from any point on the surface to the center of the sphere is the radius of the sphere. The volume, the equation for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Okay? The surface area of a sphere is 4 pi times the radius squared. So let's try some problems. Find the volume of a sphere whose radius is 3 centimeters. So here's our formula. Volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. The radius for this one is 3 centimeters. So this is going to be 4 thirds pi times 3 cubed, which equals 4 thirds times um, 27 pi. Okay, and that equals, we can do 27 divided by 3 is 9, times 4 is 36. 36 pi centimeters cubed, because volume is centimeters cubed. Okay? For my class, you can leave this in terms of pi. Okay? Find a surface area of a sphere whose radius is 4 meters. That is a really big ball. Okay, so the radius is 4 meters. The formula for surface area is 4 pi radius squared. So that's going to be 4 times 4 squared pi, which is 4 times 16 pi, which is 64 pi, and it's going to be meters squared. Okay? Once again, for my class, you can leave this in terms of pi. That's it for this lesson. Try your practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions.